What's up guys, welcome to a brand new ranking video. Today we're not talking about movies, in fact, today we're actually talking about video games. I haven't done a video game ranking in a while, but considering God of War is one of my favorite franchises, I thought it's time to rank it. I've already talked about how much I loved God of War, but I want to rank the whole series, and in fact, I've played every single God of War game, including the mobile game for the phone, and including the PSP game. So, without further ado, Let's get straight into this. Coming down at number eight out of all the God of War games. Yeah, it's crazy thinking that there's eight games. I'm going to be bringing in God of War Betrayal. Now, this is the phone game for like the old flip phones and stuff. I actually got to play this game and I wanted to add it because this is actually one of the first times I actually got a touch to what God of War was. I love the brutality. So after that, I went and bought them for the PS2 and PS3 and just played the hell out of them. And it was just a fun game. You know, it was a lot of smash and passion. It was kind of just a 2D side scroll, which is nice. You know, it's kind of Mario with God of War. It's a fun little game. I don't even think you can download it now. Maybe you can find it on the computer but god of war betrayal is a pretty little fun game moving on to the next god of war game that i actually don't like this game as much it's probably the weakest in the series for me and that is god of war ascension this game really felt like just a placeholder for what they were going to do with the god of war franchise i felt like it didn't really do much for the story don't get me wrong i think the action sequences and the online mode was actually pretty cool and a cool aspect of god of war that i'd like to see them actually go back and touch on maybe in a future god of war game but i think god of war ascension did have some cool concept and cool ideas to it but some of it just did didn't jive with me. I didn't think the game was all that good. I just, it felt very repetitive. It just felt like they were just trying to get a God of War game out and God of War Ascension just never lived up to what the other series was, especially coming off God of War 3 and how brutal that game was and how magnificent the game was. I mean, it, you open up climbing on a giant. That's just awesome. And number six is going to be God of War of Chains of Olympus. Now, this was the first PSP to hit. You know, this is the first PSP adaption of God of War to come in. It's a big game, so it's like, how are you going to scale it down? In a lot of ways, it works. The combat's really well done. The really big issue with this film is it isn't the boss battles. is isn't really the story, because it does add a nice little touch more to Kratos' life. It's really how short the game is. It's four hours long. And you can literally just sit down and beat this. And I remember coming at this game being like $55 when it came out. I was like, seriously, $55? And I only get four hours of gameplay and really no replayability. A little bit disappointment on there. It kind of salted the wounds on that thing. But the game's still fun. So what can I say? I mean, number five is going to be God of War Ghost of Sparta. This game is really good. This is easily probably the best PSP game. And also just, it's a nice little footnote to the God of War franchise. I don't know why. I just always prefer this over even God of War Ascension and these other games. Just because it brought a nice little mythology introducing God... Kratos's brother and going into a little bit more depth into his past it's something we hadn't seen yet in the God of War franchise and I really like that the combat was really refined it was way more better than this PSP version and just in general like it actually felt like a God of War game so when you actually got to play it back on the PS3 when they remastered it it really fit well and I don't know why this game just always worked for me coming in number four is gonna be God of War 2 now this is a game coming off the fantastic first game in the series and God of War 2 for me does a lot of the great things that the first one did and a little bit better but also kind of staled on some other things i think god of war 2 is more of the same as the first one it does up the ante in a lot of aspects with the boss battles with the combat and with the weapons that you get in this one the thing about the second one is it didn't have as many story elements as the first one did it sacrificed a lot of the story for the action and for me i'm more of a story guy when it comes to the games don't get me wrong i love action i love this last final showdown with zeus i loved killing the kraken but god of war 2 i felt like sacrificed more of the action and went more action heavy than did story and i think that's something that we should have touched on more in god of war 2. going on to my next game in the series coming at number three is gonna be god of war the original god of war now i remember playing through this game the first time it was such a fresh breath take air killing a bunch of demons killing a bunch of people and this game still actually really holds up in gameplay wise the graphics not so much but the gameplay wise really holds up i actually just replayed through all these good leading up to the new god of war game and just the story itself is great bringing us into this mythology is great understanding and getting to know the pain of kratos is something that you feel very much very fast and that's something that i don't think a game has really ever hit me hard in and i really just like this aspect of getting to feel for kratos and also the action here is great the boss battles are fantastic and there's a big plot twist in here that if you've never played this god of war game i'm not going to mention but there's a plot twist in here that just wow just it, it, it's one of the best games of all time, I think. It, it's one of the best solo games to ever debut on the PS2, and it's one of those console exclusives that it's like, at the time, you're like, this is the reason to get this console. Now, coming in number two is going to be God of War 3. Now, I, I, I never thought a game would be able to beat God of War, the original. I never thought something would be able to beat God of War, but God of War 3 did it. The, the, the fact is, the story, they took the problems with 2, 
added more story layers in there, but also put a nice touch of action in there. Taking down each god one by one, taking down this giant titan was a fantastic thing. I mean, one of the best openings to a game, but also the graphics. This game at the time of the PS3 being released was easily the best looking game on the PS3. Graphically, it was amazing. Graphically, it just looked beautiful. And it was just something different we had not gotten yet. And I loved it that about god of war 3 it was just such a magnificent game and i mean the ending of this game for me is one of my favorite endings of any video game coming down to number one is god of war 4 or might as well say god of war this new game it, it took the whole franchise flipped it over on its back and fucked it sideways because this game is more of what we loved but also took the problems from ascension where ascension was really just same old same old stuff and it, you could feel the wear of the franchise getting kind of stale god of war took that and made it different it made it a father-son story it took the story elements and forced it into there but also adding a touching story between a father and son but also layering fantastic action fantastic progression systems in there leveling up your characters leveling up your armor leveling up this world and exploring this new mythology of the norse mythology something that attached me very hard with thor baldor Odin, Loki, this mythology of all these gods are just fantastic and adds more to the layers, especially if you're like into the Thor films, like you pick up some stuff really fast and it's just great. But the mythology of this world is beautiful. The graphics are easily the best. But I mean, if I'm looking at this game and just comparing it story-wise, action-wise, and not graphical power, but just really in all those layers, this game still comes out on top. Best story in the franchise, great character development for each of our characters, the best action i'll go to say best progression system and overall just the most best game in the series there's nothing that can beat this game it's again if you watch my review i said this is one of the best games of the decade and the reason to buy a ps4 guys that's my ranking for every god of war game tell me guys what is your ranking down below for the games that you've played i doubt a lot of you guys have even played that phone game i just thought i should put it in there because i thought hey I, i've played it might as well but guys i'm super curious to hear what you guys thoughts are on the god of war franchise what do you guys think about this new game what do you guys think about the old games let's talk about it down below so guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any videos. Go ahead and up all my social media links if you guys want to talk more geeky stuff, not just on YouTube, but on other streams. I'll be loving to talk with you guys all over there. And of course, the most important thing is, Go to hit up Sandwich on Films down below. It's a website that I'm a part of, very website that I'm a part of, I'm very proud to be a part of, where you guys can win advanced movie screens. Also, go check out movie news and movie reviews on there. So guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.